Bringing the RV out to Diablo Lake has been on the itinerary all year long. And now that it's possible, it may not happen after all. If you've been keeping up with us, you know we've made it to the state of Washington for the summer, and we're on the brink of visiting our 10th national park, which happens to be North Cascades. So a little context here, it's Friday afternoon, and we're about to pack it all up and head over from Lacana, Washington, all the way over to close to Diablo Lake. We found a little hip camp over there. We're gonna go spend the weekend there, and hopefully we get to go see Diablo Lake because we've been wanting to see it for a while. As easy as that sounds, it might prove to be a little troublesome to actually go out and see the lake this weekend, and I'll share why with you here in a few minutes. So the goal here is to, when we hitch up, because this is technically the way you're supposed to go, the entrance is that way. So what I'm gonna do, because all this is filled with tight turns and low hanging trees, instead of going all the way back there, making a U-turn to come back and back it up all the way that way, which it probably looks a little further on camera. That might be a hundred yards or so. I think we can do it. I got faith in us. She's actually gonna back it up. <laughs> Lacanar has been good to us, staying here at the Thousand Trails location which is located about 30 minutes from Mount Vernon and about 10 minutes from the coastal town of Anacortes. If you stay here, make sure to check it out and hang out for a beautiful sunset. Fun fact, I grew up working in the landscape which required me to learn how to tow and drive with trailers as a high schooler. When we first got the RV back in January, it had been more than 7 years since I last towed but it came back to me pretty quickly. And the reason that might be a little bit of an issue is one, because I have to work tomorrow. That already limits me on time. And two, I have to finish up the Washington film or the Olympic National Park film that I'm working on now, which is about two weeks um, ago when you watch this film. So after this, go back and watch that video. Still gotta work on it so I can release it on Sunday. Washington has so far met all of our expectations. Beautiful scenery, tons of outdoor places to see and visit, great atmosphere in Seattle by the way, and out of all the west coast touring we have done this year, if there was any place I would be tempted to move to, it would probably be somewhere in Washington or somewhere near Yosemite. And with the chance to explore northern Washington over the next couple of weeks, we cannot wait to see what the North Cascades have to offer. A place that only existed in photos to us this time last year is now within a 30 minute drive. So Jess and I just got here and while it definitely beats our last location in terms of views, something just doesn't add up about this spot. We're on the side where typically you have the power connection and all the hookups, but also they put the power pedestal on the opposite side. All your connection, sewage, water, and electric is on the other side here. So, just got everything set up and it is time to go get some dinner. What's the place called? Mondo's? Mondo's? Okay, yeah, so I just got a burger. It's late, I gotta work tomorrow. Thank Looks you. so good, thank you. All right, so will you be back? I don't know, we'll find out. Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday. I'm gonna be spending the first few morning hours working and working on the video at the same time. Hopefully it's a slow day for me at work. Um, but yeah, I'll be here till about 3.30 and then I'm gonna to try to sneak out and go see Diablo Lake. I can't wait because we're only like 20, 30 minutes away from it. So a little about our careers. Jess currently works in the finance world in the fraud sector fully remote. Good morning, Jess. I now work in healthcare fully remote, which allows us to freely travel around the states. I've received a degree in mechanical engineering and worked in various fields after college, but it was really hard to find a position that was fully remote in that field. Finally got off on a beautiful Saturday afternoon and it is just absolutely gorgeous outside. It's been killing me to stay cramped up in here working. So let's go hit Diablo Lake.
And so it's just gonna be Kina and myself on the hike today. Jess has a little bit of cold ever since about last night, so she's gonna hang back. But the trailhead is only about 20 to 30 miles away, so I'm pretty excited. It's about four o'clock now. Should make it in time to be able to finish the entire hike. get stretched out no matter what I'm getting old <laughs> this is the hike that we're taking today it's about a seven and a half uh, round trip hike so I think it should take about three three and a half hours so from our hike back in Olympic National Park um, two weeks or three weeks ago now at this point uh, Jessica and I had a great time but we got eaten alive by flies gnats little biting flies, horse flies, and we were wearing short sleeves and shorts. I still have shorts on now, but when we were in Seattle, I decided to get a little sun hoodie. Now, I have been told they're not the best for keeping off flies and stuff like that. You know, they're of course, they're for the sun. Um, I think this one's FPF like 25 or so, but I was able to snag one and my theory is that they'll help keep off flies. I'll keep you guys updated on that theory. Y'all know how keen I is with bridges. He is not a fan. You can be okay. You got it, man. You got it. You got it. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. What an absolute beauty of a trail so far. I've seen snippets of the lake. I haven't seen like a good full view of it just yet, but it is like getting to that area where it normally breaks open. All right. So Kenai and I made it to the turnaround point. Um, it just kind of takes you all the way down to a river and actually we started turning around right before we made it all the way down to the river. I was in the impression this trail was going to take you kind of like to a, a peak that you could see over Diablo Lake, uh, but I guess that's not the case. <laughs> oh well. Um, anyways, it's still a beautiful hike to go see. I think we made it about like 0.3 miles away from the bottom but it's getting close to seven o'clock now and i got another about three miles back to the truck it took me about another hour and yeah so i'm gonna be getting back a little late but you know that's okay I bet you it's probably 15 to 20 degrees cooler inside this little mini cave right here. As I was walking by, I didn't even really like notice it on the way back, but I just felt this rush of cool air just hit me in the side of the face here. But in the summer, on a hot summer night, that's where I'd be. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Seems like just the other day I'd see your face and know what to say Now I'm staring at the ground Stepping over eggshells spread all around So tell me what can I do Do I tiptoe around to pick up a broom Can we sweep up this mess or did we make a minefield out of our address i'm trying to go surprise jess with a milkshake and i'm gonna see how i do because she is hit or miss with her with getting her milkshake this place is so interesting because it's a restaurant a store and a 
has a bunch of different like cool little items here for sale that you would never think of in a restaurant. All right, thank you, thank you. Oh, these things are so delicious though. We got her. <laughs> we got her. Uh huh. Look at that. Mm. Got. <laughs> so we have to be out here in about an hour, but I've heard there's a little creek down here and I've seen it on the drone, but I haven't had a chance to go check it out just yet. So Kina and I are going to go check it out. Kina. I think everybody, as far as all the tent campers, have kind of headed out. So. It's gonna be nice just to go check out the stream for a little bit before we have to make the 30 minute drive back to, is it Granby Creek or Grandy Creek? I think it is, that's where we're staying at next. So a really gorgeous creek. I'm just curious on how you actually get down there if you wanted to, cause it's kind of a steep drop off bank right here. I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a better way. Gina. That water is cool. Oh boy. Oh my God. Nah, not getting past the knees in this one. No, sir. This particular hip camp also has campsites for tent camping. Also has uh, like cabins, like a little yurt style almost. And it does have outhouses, it's got uh, waste bins. And it has one site or two sites, I believe. I think there's like one more site for RVs. But other than that, I mean, this is a beautiful spot. Like I said, well located right there in the town. Um, and when we pull out of here, it's gonna be a straight shot. So that's gonna be nice. over to Grandy Creek, which is about 20 miles backtracking from where we came from in LaConnor. And it's an association with KOA Thousand Trails, so I'm hoping that we can find a good full hookup site. That's been our Achilles heel for the entire summer. I think this is our first time at a KOA. Hang on, no, second time. We stayed at one down in Texas at the Catula, Catulla location. And that's when we were going from Alamo Two big band. We stayed at a KOA one night. Holly, no problem. How are you doing? Good, how are uh, you? Are you videoing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're RV YouTubers. Um, cool. So it's up under Rebels, I believe, for the reservation. Rebels? Rebels, yeah. Rebels. So we didn't look up and get the uh, full hookup, um, but we may have looked up and gotten a spot to where our Starlink's gonna work. And uh, we're taking a look now to kind of scout everything out. Guys, we officially got set up. We got the Starlink out, which is the biggest thing, is trying to make sure you have Starlink connection. It's over there doing its thing. And we got Kenai set up. Hey, man. Hey, man, you want some water? You want some water? Good boy. But since we weren't able to get a full hookup spot, we were able to check with the uh, front office, the ranger station, and uh, another neighbor down there. They're leaving soon. We got a spot opening up tomorrow. We got a spot opening up Tuesday. So if we can get it tomorrow, for sure we're gonna get it Tuesday for full hookups, 50 amps, which is gonna be nice. But honestly, so far, this is a beautiful spot. I heard there was a salmon, salmon run going on at the creek here. So we may go check that out, but we gotta go get groceries. Now that we are settled, it's time to check out the Northern Cascades in next week's adventure. And thank you all for hanging out with us today. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into the RV outdoor life to keep up with all of our latest adventures on the road. Peace out, much love, and we will see you again next Sunday.